a little mailbag here, some leftover questions that came in for Chris Sims Unbuttoned. Gunando says, greetings from Northern Ireland. Oh, by the way, I, I, I have realized that over time I have forgotten, Chris, to welcome in. You haven't done it. Our friends in the UK and Ireland watching the program on Sky Sports. I don't know why. I just did. We've been back for a couple of weeks now, and I just did. I got a, a request last night from one of our most loyal viewers on Sky Sports, uh, a request and a question, basically, why the hell don't you do it anymore? Yeah. So I'm doing it now. Pauline and everyone else over there who enjoys us on Sky Sports, it's 7 p.m. primetime this week. Thank you. We appreciate you. And uh, also, Gunando in Northern Ireland sorry, says, I'm curious uh, sorry, about London. why. I'm, what? Yeah, they, sorry, London. Oh, sorry, sorry, literally. Yeah. Liter <laughs> literally, sorry, London. I'm curious about why all of the teams with rookie quarterbacks don't openly go with specific packages for the rookie to ease them in, play to their strengths, get to see what they can do. Is it fear of upsetting the established quarterback, Christopher? No, no, I don't think it's that. I think it's more that it's a good question. I think it's more about, hey, it's preseason, right? They don't want to get their running quarterbacks too banged up in meaningless football games. But ultimately, it's something that you and I talk about a lot, right? It's hiding those things. They don't want to break them out until the regular season. Those are hard things for defenses to defend, you know? Now, again, we're starting to get to a point where we got a lot of quarterbacks who got quarterback design runs. It's not going to be as hard as everybody thinks it is, I think, as we go on, you know? There, there's already a handful of quarterbacks in the football where you, you have to play them and you go, wait, there's quarterback design runs. It's not just Lamar Jackson. It's Kyler Murray. And then, of course, the Saints with Taysom Hill. And Josh Allen and the Bills do it. There's a number of teams that have that type of stuff. But I think ultimately that's why, you know, it's just the competitive advantage. Let's not do that. And then let's not take meaningless hits on our quarterback in a preseason football game. And you look at the five first rounders this year, all taken in the first 15 picks. Trevor Lawrence, starter. Zach Wilson, starter. Trey Lance will be on the field. Justin Fields likely will be on the field. Right. Week one in a package for him. And then Mac Jones, the way things are going now, <laughs> might be, could a be the starter. And if <laughs> right. he won't be week one, he may be not long after that. So uh, I think there's a push to get these guys on the field. I think the, the thing that we have seen, in recent years and and the pendulum first swung in my mind 2008 with Matt Ryan and Joe Flacco both starting right. week one as right. first round quarterbacks if you're going to use a first round pick on a quarterback you better be ready to get him on the field otherwise you don't do it and I know that the Chiefs managed to pull it off with keeping Patrick Mahomes in mothballs for a full year that's the exception now for the most part if you're going to make that move if you're going to use that pick on whoever you know, the players are ready to go. Yeah. You get them on the field, especially the quarterbacks. Right. No, you're right. Yeah, I think I, I agree. And I, I just still agree with, you know, trial by fire. I just get out there, play. You can't emulate NFL football in any other place other than on the football field. Like practice isn't going to do it for quarterbacks all the time because like we always talk about, there's just not the same pressure. Oh, I can pat the ball one more time. They're not going to hit me. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, great throw, everybody, but it wasn't realistic. You're like, ah, oh, no, if that was a game, you just got your head knocked off, and, you know, you feel good and all those type of things. So uh, I, I'm with you, and you're right. With the Mahomes thing, very different circumstance. They traded up 17 spots to get him. They were the number two seed in the AFC playoffs. They could afford a little bit to let him sit there for a year. So um, all things are different, but I'm with you. You know, play these guys. Get them out there. And I still think they should have played him as a rookie, especially when the I offense was sputtering in the middle yeah. of the season. They may have had another Super Bowl appearance out of it. All right, next one. I'm not even going to try to decipher this Twitter handle. That happens from time to time. Do you think the Bears don't want to play Justin Fields with their O-line against Aaron Donald so he won't look horrible and there's still hype for Justin Fields moving forward? With how that line played against the Bills, they have no chance against Aaron Donald. Your thoughts, Chris? Well, I I, oh, I think I think our uh, – and I don't know how to say his name here either, but I think he's spot on. You know, I think that's why they're kind of adamant about Andy Dalton. If there's one reason that at least jumps out to me, it's the fact that, wait, it's on the road in L.A. in a stadium that's yet to have fans for a regular season game. The place is going to be crazy. And, of course, we know the Rams defense is really good. But, you know, the other thing I want to say to that a little bit is, like, 
Well, they got no chance with Andy Dalton then either, okay? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know. It's all the more reason to play Justin Fields. Fields, Fields Use the guy who can get away from Aaron Donald. Right. And, and also, the thing that he could slow Aaron Donald down, right? Okay, Justin Fields gets the snap, and now he's he's riding the running back. Or Aaron Donald's going to be like, wait, I can't rush the passer. This damn guy can run. He might run this way. Oh, wait, they might be pulling a guard, and Justin Fields might be running behind him and the running back and all of those type of things. It will slow down the pass rush if Justin Fields is there. Andy Dalton, there is no worry. He's going to be like, I know where he's going to be. He's going to be right there, and I'm coming to get him. And so that's where I struggle with it. And, you know, again, that's why I go back to, like, the Bears one. Like, Fields, to me, is the greatest schematical advantage that team has on the offensive side of the ball. And that's why I would just go with it. I would roll. It, it reminds me of the thing that we text about from time to time, the armchair scouts who downgrade Aaron Donald for blowing up a play so much that there's a wake behind him that yeah. the ball carrier his runs gap. through. He you left could, his gap open. You you <laughs> could use that against him with Justin Fields. You, you, you hand the ball off and the running back can go right through the spot that Aaron Donald just blew in the line. It's that simple. So, yeah, I think it's more of a reason to go with Fields and, and have a more diverse weapon than Andy Dalton, who's going to be a sitting duck with Aaron Donald. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.